Well, thank you everyone for still being tuned into Scumathon 2023. My name is Dujon Walsham and I'll be going through what's new in the free endpoint management, aka SCCM management pack. So this presentation is really going to be covering about all of the latest updates in the endpoint manager management pack, which we had released um, around the previous Scomathon, which we had, and we also had a follow-up coffee break as well. So this will be essentially in addition to everything that had came out then and what has been upgraded, improved, and also been added into the management pack right now. So we will be covering uh, today's agenda, uh, just a quick synopsis about the management pack, basically the motivation for developing the actual management pack and then going through the summary of the previous released versions just so we can understand overall historically all of the features that were added in new additions and any type of bugs or improvement issues which were indicated in the previous versions uh, Next, I'll go ahead through uh, box improvements outlined again, and then we'll be going into covering uh, what's new in the management pack. So we will be covering everything from all of the new classes which are now involved in the management pack, the um, keeping up to date with the version recognition of um, Microsoft Configuration Manager. Um, we'll also be touching into the features of how we can actually do the cloud management monitoring, which um, I will go into more details once we get to that part. And then we'll talk about uh, the versatility in the monitoring methods, just so we can actually understand the full overall analytical scope on how the management pack is able to attack certain areas of interest when it comes to information on developing the actual monitoring and across all of the actual classes. So that's pretty much the agenda. Uh, so uh, just to kick things off, uh, so we'll just give uh, a quick summary of the previous release version. So, yep, we first introduced the um, Endpoint Manager Management Pack at the Scomathon 2022. Um, the overall mission there was just basically around the history of the management pack which we are all quite familiar with um which came out from microsoft um believe it, it has actually been retired since and no further development has gone on there so um i took that as an opportunity to actually see a space in which um there was a bit of opportunity there where we could actually sort of fill that gap and from how we use um Microsoft Configuration Manager. Um, it's a very, very big centralized suite and it can essentially be used uh, for only one purpose only and not necessarily other areas. So when it comes to the actual overall monitoring of Configuration Manager, it can become fairly complex as it is to actually use and operate the technology itself. So with the um, version of the previous one sort of being more focused around 2020 2012 i wanted to build a solution basically around it that would be able to recognize all of the current branch versions that we have and with the frequent releases of new versions of configuration manager um, i thought it would be good to actually have something that would be able to at least recognize the actual different versions that are coming along along the way and um, also targeting um, of specific monitoring again so the uh, previous management pack would um, basically look at things like the component statuses and the site system statuses to pretty much see if the overall component is healthy um, in a warning state or in critical state um, but we know that sometimes that can create a false positive and essentially jumping from console to another console just to see if that health state had already changed by the time you got to it or it might necessarily be not necessarily be something significant or it could even be something historical which has not actually been reset yet so basically we just wanted to just improve the um overall experience 
just so that when you've actually got an alert on a specific area within your configuration manager environment, it would be uh, essentially a real alert which you would actually need to pay attention to and to sort of um, minimize the amounts of false positives that could be essentially created when you're looking at the overall health um, of your configuration manager. So here we go ahead with the uh, timeline on, of the releases. So the very first version um, we released at uh, SCOMAFON 2022. Um, we then released a, another version uh, just shortly after, and that was some small advancements to that management pack, which was essentially around the ADK um, as the ADK plays a very integral part in your configuration manager, especially when you are looking to um, upgrade your particular um, configuration manager version, or if you're using um, things such as boot images when it comes to um, task sequences. So um, the AD key version and the ADK WinPE are um, very important aspects to your configuration manager, especially when you go for the prerequisites of um, mandatory checks. And these are essentially ones that are affected by it. So adding that kind of monitoring in will just sort of help things in the long run, especially if you are very heavily using um, OSD deployment and task sequences in that sense. And then we have the next version, which we are uh, gearing uh, to release um, around the uh, 25th of May. And this will contain all of the new type of um, monitoring um, new features, uh, such as uh, the different classes and um, just the recognition of the different versions of the current branch versions of Configuration Manager as well. And we'll also analyze some of the things that we've actually looked at in terms of actually improving the management pack overall, which we will cover on the next slide. So the bugs and improvements outlined. So um, after some um, initial feedback uh, from the community, um, there were um, quite a few things uh, which could have um, definitely improved. So just to give a wider picture on everything that had been detected on that management pack, I uh, thought I would lay them out here just so we can go through them in a more specific detail. So um, the first one, um, I will stop in the start in the top left hand corner, the instances placed into all instance groups. So I think there was an issue there where a lot of instances were being put in every single group as opposed to being in just the designated specific group, which was um, for the actual computer group and instance group that would relate to its specific class. And that was um, definitely an issue um, that was um, highlighted uh, definitely the most. Um, one of the other issues was the actual overall detection of distribution points, uh, which it seemed to have been recognizing machines that didn't actually have the distribution point role, but was actually still recognizing them as um, as if they did have that role. So that was um, not that had too many come up with that, but there there have been a few in that believe that relates down to the very earliest one which has been released and then some of the other ones well in terms they I guess they are more in terms of improvement so improvement of the actual um, log file analysis so this was just a way to just sort of improve on how it was actually reading and parsing that information in order to get a more fair and a more accurate understanding of how to analyze that information when a um, when anything serious comes through in terms of the health state of any of the roles. So the log file analysis, um, for example, the management points um, monitor has a quite an interesting structure in terms of how it actually analyzes the log file so that we can actually understand if there is any issues in regarding to um, 
HTTP or HTTPS communications, especially when the management point goes down and clients in the configuration manager environment aren't able to actually talk into their configuration manager environment. Uh, that was something that stood out to me in terms of um, adding a monitor for. So what we wanted to do is just improve the overall way in how many of the monitors in this management pack actually pass through the actual log file analysis. And then the last part is um, something of a sort of a BAU task when it comes to the, this actual management pack. So we're talking about um, looking through the um, version recognition uh, with trying to keep up with all of the new configuration manager versions, which are released over time. And also we wanted to take into consideration the end of life dates as well, just so that um, we have a structure in terms of allowing the end user to know exactly how long this particular version has got until its end of life. And then that will essentially prompt the end user to go ahead and then upgrade that configuration manager where it is actually uh, possible. And yeah, this is yeah, this is definitely uh, sort of um, a, a BAU task in this sense. So everything in terms of the versioning is actually um, a manual process. So it doesn't actually read anything out from the internet as there's no sort of, um, there's not necessarily a, a source that I would particularly use to sort of um, bind that management pack to actually read. This is really essentially um, understanding and analyzing the different versions that are out there when the end of life date is approaching and for anyone who's actually running a more legacy version of configuration manager that would also contain an end of life date as well so i can only hope there's not too many environments out there that might be using a version as low as um i'll say realistically hopefully not secm 2012 but then there are some circumstances where those particular environments might still be around but um hopefully um this management pack will be able to sort of bring more attention to any versions that might be trailing down in terms of the actual versioning um, that has to be upgraded before the end of life so now we're going to get into the more interesting parts in this presentation which is basically what's new in this um, particular version that we're about to release and so let's have a look so basically made a list here in terms of all of the new features that we've got in the new management pack uh, which we are going to release so the first thing we've done is again the uh, version recognition we have the latest version uh, the latest release uh, being 2303 so we've made sure that the management pack is actually able to recognize all the way up to the latest version as well and of course this will contain the end of life date as well um, I don't expect uh, anyone to really have any issues with um, the end of life on this particular version, but then there might not be too many that have upgraded to the latest version as well. So everything from uh, versions underneath like 22.11 are also going to be um, recognized as well. Um, things like the additional classes um, for the um, configuration manager discovery. Um, so we've got more classes which are going to discover a lot more of the roles in configuration manager than we did before so we've got just a, a slight bit of an, uh, an increase there but it also plays a very big role in the cloud role monitoring as well which we will cover quite a lot um, very soon and um, the additional monitoring added for those microsoft configuration manager roles so in in terms of just adding the classes uh we've also got the um discovery to discover all of the um i guess more vital information for all of these particular roles but then we've also got the monitoring to actually back up the actual um overall monitoring of those roles as well and we will go 
a lot more further into those additional classes that we have in this management pack. Um, in terms of the uh, bugs and, and improvements, so uh, yeah, these are now uh, totally fixed now. So anytime you have a machine or an instance of a specific class being discovered, this will now only and only reside in the actual um, computer group or instance group that relates to the specific class which um, that discovery has ran for. Um, so that no longer should add anything in all of the um, different computer groups or instance groups of which you might have. So those are now uh, completely fixed. In terms of the improvements that we actually spoke about earlier, in terms of the um, log file analysis. So um, that has now been a bit more improved now. And that was essentially more finding the actual log files, depending on the type of um, configuration manager structure you have. So for example, some might have more consolidated environments where multiple roles, if not all roles, stay on one particular server, or there might be scenarios where that configuration manager environment is a lot more split up. So in those cases, um, log files can be in different areas or in different drives, depending on how your actual overall setup is. So more work was done there to actually ensure that all of the log files uh, parsing information is a lot more improved and specifically a lot more accurate in trying to find those log files and also as well is um a lot of the sort of the old versions of the log files or any type of situations where you might have any crash dumps where the older versions of the log files are then renamed and then placed in those particular folders so those particular scenarios are now skipped so now it should be a lot more easier to uh, look at the information when it comes to the overall health explorer to see if there really is um, any issues in particular areas in which those uh, log files contain that information for. And the last part is then the cloud role monitoring. So to go more further into that, this is more based around um, roles such as your such as your cloud management gateway, um, your cloud distribution points. But not only that, we also look into the actual um, the cloud management gateway connection points as well, uh, which actually um, attach themselves to the uh, cloud management gateway, which is working for that environment. So we now actually have coverage for that as well. Um, that also falls into the category of additional classes added for Microsoft Configuration Manager. Um, so we have an entire section uh, for the cloud role monitoring, which we will dive in a lot further. But um, I believe this is actually um, quite an interesting feature to bring in, especially when we have environments that will look after um, clients that are uh, managed out on the internet uh, for those who may not be using um, technology such as um, VPNs for machines to dial into. So um, having the cloud management gateway or the cloud distribution point monitor will definitely help uh, so that if anything does go down on those particular roles, then we actually know exactly um, what type of areas and what type of clients are affected overall in those environments. So yeah, we will talk about that a lot more further in um, a later section. And we also have some um, examples and some screenshots of the new version of the management pack, which will show a little bit more detail in terms of how that is all configured. Right. So in terms of the new classes, so what have we got here? So, um, so on the right, we have a screenshot of all of the um, views of part of the uh, new version of the management pack. So 
we can see some of the things we talked about, like the cloud distribution point servers, cloud management gateway servers, uh, which we'll go uh, and talk about in later on. But some of the other ones that I wanted to bring your attention to are areas such as the uh, the fallback status point. So that is now um, monitored as well. So um, the uptime and the uh, downtime, of course, um, of that particular point is um, monitored as well. Um, if any issues um, happen with um, any parts of the fallback status point, that is all um, covered in the actual uh, monitoring of that role as well. Um, also, if your configuration manager environment is configured to actually use the fallback state point or not using it, that is also detected and alerted on as well. Um, another uh, part we also wanted to cover was the uh, service connection point as well. So um, this is a role essentially, which is kind of used by default when you want to synchronize in any of the um, updates of any new versions of the configuration manager uh, versions which you want to upgrade to. So this essentially was um, another part I wanted to put in there just just for really for overall coverage, just so that if there are any issues in trying to um, synchronize any of those updates, then if this particular um, service on the service connection point is down then this can also be brought forward into the management pack which will essentially alert on that too um if you notice uh we actually have a folder which actually has a uh, connection point servers on here as well so we've got the cloud management gateway connection point and then we've also got the uh, service connection point as well um uh, we are also looking at um, the sort of maybe these adding the certificate enrollment status point as well, so that we are looking at potentially adding that in the later versions of this management pack as well. Um, then we've got the uh, cloud management gateways and the uh, cloud distribution point. So we've got a section here for the uh, for the cloud management servers as well. Um, Another thing that we may look at adding on here as well is the actual um, cloud services or the Azure apps, which actually support both the uh, cloud management gateway and cloud distribution point servers as well. Um, also, um, another thing about the cloud distribution point was that the reason why there are two separate classes is because there may still be some environments that might still be using the cloud distribution point even though that particular um, feature um, is um, not around anymore in the later versions due to that the cloud management gateway can now also have the cloud distribution point enabled on there as well so uh, the two views uh, relate to the two different classes but um, so the cloud management gateway is also uh, monitored also for its uh, cloud distribution point uh, type of monitoring as well. So they are both uh, catered for in this uh, particular class and uh, discovery as well. And the last one in terms of the new classes is the uh, the CAS sites, the central administration sites. So for any environments which are still using um, a CAS server, um, these will now be discovered as well. Um, there's also some monitoring configured for this as well to say that if you are actually using a, a, a CAS server, then it will basically show up as a, a warning alert to state that the central administration site at in further time uh, will no longer be available. And very similar to some of the uh, prerequisite checks that you get in Configuration Manager when you are looking at upgrade into the latest version as well. So it's just, again, just sort of um, re-emphasizing a lot of the best practices and the overall uh, future prerequisites for where um, the journey that Configuration Manager is going overall, just to uh, make sure that everything is still in a sort of a supported structure. So those are the classes um, that we've now got in the latest version of this management pack at the moment. Um, we will 
start to bring some of the other ones in there as well. So some of the other ones being like the uh, central enrollment point, uh, the endpoint protection point. Um, I did want to get the asset intelligence role in there, but that's also um, a role that's also going to be um, no longer existing as well. So that will probably follow the same kind of structure as the central administration site server uh, class and discovery and monitoring type configuration as well. So those are some of more of the plans later on in the future for this management pack. Um, so again, the version recognition. So it can recognize everything from um, SCCM 2012 RTM all the way up to 2303. Um, I pretty much had summarized it between sort of 2010 to SCCM because there might be a bit, not too much space if I was to list every single build version for configuration manager. So I thought I'd just have a quick way of just summarizing everything in that way. So yeah, um, again, the foundation of the management pack was really driven to actually understand and recognize all of the versions um, that have been released uh, prior to um, SCCM 2012. So, I mean, that was quite an important thing, especially when we um, tend to look a lot at the sort of the raw format of the actual client version or the actual configuration manager console version. So what I wanted to do was have a sort of a, a friendly recognized display name so that it was actually a lot easier to sort of point out exactly which version that you were running. So um, the screenshots of the um, primary site, just for, as, as for an example, so you've got things here like the server name, site code. Um, so if you also notice, uh, we also have the, um, the parent server and the parent site code. So this also relates to the central administration site class. So when you do actually have a CAS server that is existed in your environment, then these particular properties here will also be populated as well. And this also falls um, the same with the failure of a server property, which we see, which is uh, also blank as well. And um, that's mainly because uh, there is a monitor which also looks at the site failover um, as well. Um, another thing that we will look at bringing into this management pack in the future is as well the um, looking at any service which play the passive site role um, to um, your primary site server as well. So that that's another thing. Um, so yeah, we've also got the the version name um, and the version as well, so we can see that this particular uh, test server is running um, version 2211, just under um, 2303 as well. And the screenshot below then also just gives um, an idea of the actual version name and the um, and the end of life date as well. Um, just just so you can actually see how that particular part works in terms of the actual overall um, version recognition as well. So I think this is um, good so that any time that this um, actually picks up that your version is running maybe a couple of months before it's actually about to expire, you will actually get a warning uh, alert that will actually tell you that you're running close to the particular environment um, running out um, in terms of support. And if you are about maybe 30 days or less, then you will start to see a critical event that will actually let you know that the end of life is approaching soon and to basically um, upgrade your environment at your earliest convenience as soon as possible. So yeah, this is going to be an ongoing exercise in order to sort of um, maintain the actual um, version recognition feature of this overall management pack so we can actually accommodate all type of um, configuration manager environments that are around with this uh, particular solution. And then um, next we have the, uh, the cloud monitoring side. 
So yeah, um, as we discussed, we've got the uh, cloud management gateway and we've got the cloud distribution point roles. So um, if we just look at the, uh, the the properties here, for example, so um, every single server that's pretty much a site system server is always going to carry the same sort of property attributes such as like server name and site code just so you know exactly which environment they belong to so this is helpful for when you have um, either multiple primary sites or um, or a cast server that might have um, a lot of child sites then you can actually see all of the different uh, site codes uh, which relate to them as well um, so information that we can see in addition are things like the actual deployment slots which the um, which the cmg or the actual cloud distribution point actually uh, belongs to um description as well that just follows um any kind of description that you've got on those particular roles and another property which we have on here is just the actual overall well the region in which the uh cloud management gateway sits on so if you use any things like um like east us or um or west us or europe um that will also be picked up in the discovery details as well in the management pack in the overall views um in terms of the monitoring um so uh this follows um looking at the actual um running and activity state of the uh, cloud management gateway or the cloud distribution point so if these services um, stop for whatever reason then it will basically be flagged and you will get a critical alert into the active alerts just to show that that particular role is down so and this is um, a lot of the goals in terms of um, sort of developing this management pack and especially to bring in different uh integral roles that will infect your environment and instead of just sort of having um sort of reading like a status message or component um status um we would have something a bit more specific which would actually say that something is actually down um the next screenshot that we have in here um also shows the um state of the cloud management gateway and showing that it is actually running um so if this was to change the cmg status would, would no longer be zero and then that would then be flagged as the cloud management gateway being down um there is also some monitoring as well which is able to differentiate whether the cloud management gateway is just a cloud management gateway or if it is also just a or if it's a cloud management gateway and also using a cloud distribution point as well just to sort of cover the um the overall monitoring um so in terms of the uh the versatility in the monitoring method so um yeah with configuration manager there are it, being that it is a very complex technology there's also a lot of areas in which we can actually uh, grab a lot of information from in order to make the management path possible. And these these areas also allow us to sort of um, have more of an idea on how we can actually enrich the information further. So just for example, uh, we start off with the one right at the top left hand corner. So we've got the server uh, role log files. So um, with uh, the millions of log files that configuration manager has um the server roles contain their fair share as well especially when we look at the primary site server um so things like you know the uh, that the distribution point manager log file the uh, dist mgr then you've got the uh, management point roles um also um log files for um client deployments as well and also um, ones related to uh, software update points as well so you and it's interesting because when you have um consolidated configuration manager environments sometimes the monitoring of the log files is a lot easier because you would expect them to just be in one particular place but as uh, we sort of talked about earlier, sometimes we can have a lot of roles which are actually split up 
on different servers and then that can sometimes make the log files more trickier uh, if we've also got environments where um, machines either have regular updates or possibly might sort of go down sort of easier than others, then you might start to experience a lot of uh, crash dump forms which could contain log files that are um, placed in different areas. And so sometimes it can cause it can cause issues um, in terms of the management pack trying to read those particular log files. So that was um, really the importance overall of um, trying to improve the actual parsing of that so that we can actually have a bit more detailed information. Um, another part is then the um, is then the WMI classes. So uh, you're talking about areas like the um, the SCCM um, SDK, um, which you can um, take a look through as well, which has a lot of um, interesting information which we can use. Um, very similar to the um, information that you would get if you was to use um, a query in the configuration manager and then use a um, a query written in the WQL format as well. So that's another piece which actually allows us to sort of uh, interrogate a lot of the information just to just so that we can actually see that something is actually down and um, not sort of changing the actual health state um, over time after um, a few seconds or so de depending on what kind of situation you experience around any of the uh, site system servers then you've got the uh, configuration manager um, powershell commandlets as well um, that also has um, a lot of uh, great information there um, especially when looking at the overall um, status of a um, of an actual server role as well, so it's a lot easier to sort of um, bounce through and, and interrogate. They're very similar to sort of the W of my classes and going through the actual um, SDK through PowerShell as well, as well as actually using the actual PowerShell module, which you can actually get with the Configuration Manager console. And then you have the uh, the registry as well. And um, yeah, so registry um, with the um, things like the uh, like the SMS key, uh, for example, and having a look at all the registry keys where you actually have all of the um, the rolled information being there as well, um, depending on um, if you're looking at it on the perspective of it just having the actual um, configuration manager client or if you're looking at it in terms of um, a consolidated um, server, for example, might have multiple role keys on there as well, but it also allows it to be easily identifiable when you have um, server roles that are actually split up with different configuration manager um, site system roles as well. So the registry also plays um, a very important part in terms of um, identifying which uh, machines actually have the roles and this was a little bit of the basis on where some of the issues we saw in terms of recognizing servers that didn't actually have the distribution point so those parts were improved and it's also another area in terms of the versatility of the actual monitoring for this and um, the service monitoring so um, some of the uh, known ones like the um, SMS executive uh, services or the um or the, or the uh, component site server services but then also taking into account other roles which also carry their own services so things like the data warehouse point has its own um data warehouse service um you've also got the uh the like the service connection point having things like um that its own services as well and then you've got the um other services like the cm update or even ones like SMS agent. And there's just various different services that can relate to multiple roles. Like for example, the distribution point would um, have one for Windows deployment services if you was using um, the WDS role and not the actual um, onboard SCCM Pixie. So if you didn't actually have a management pack that monitored um, Windows deployment services specifically, then this particular management pack would be able to sort of um, cover that part as well. And then the last part then is then the actual um, version recognition. So just um, sort of being overly aware of the new type of features that 
each particular version brings and then the management pack is then also enhanced to sort of keep up with the best practices of that particular version as well going forward so um, that's um, going to be a um, an, an ongoing process and watching closely all of the new versions which will get released over time as well and then so this pretty much paints the overall picture of the versatility of monitoring methods that the management pack is um, is actually looking at overall so that we can pull accurate health states together across all of those areas combined. Um, so where to download? So yeah, we talked about um, the management pack being released around sort of the, uh, the, the, the 25th. So um, it will be released um, in May. So most likely, if not on the uh, same day as the um, SCOMAFON today, then or even before or slightly after um, we are expecting that to be released in May. So we will be sharing um, the uh, social media so you'll be able to see how you can actually register for the um, for on the new version of the management pack as well. Um, of course, um, we will have a sort of um, an, an instructional guide and information on how to actually um, use this new management pack as well and um, also um, knowing that we've now looked at all of the different Im improvements and bugs that were identified in some of the older versions as well uh, which have now been sorted um, so in terms of overall ongoing support uh, for that management pack so um, yeah you can um, get in touch with us at support at protectall.com as well uh, we'll also have um, sort of um, updates and also um, Im improve support over the actual um, monitoring of the um, configuration management pack and looking after the environment as well, um, as well as um, when we look to sort of have new types of uh, features added in there as well, um, just to sort of um, not only just keep up with all the new versions, but also to have sort of a watchful eye over every single aspect of configuration manager as it is a very very big suite and some I suppose the challenge is sort of when you're creating more specific monitoring with a management pack like this um when you're being more explicit you will find there, there will be more and more and more monitoring and i think looking at the older version of the management pack would explain why it is designed the way it is because of when you have a lot of um sort of explicit pieces of um areas that you want to monitor it can grow a lot bigger so sometimes having a um a detection to say that a health state is in a particular particular way have a look and then basically if you're a configuration manager administrator you'll most likely be in that console all the time anyway so well, what we want to do is at least um give you the right pieces or the right points to say that we actually let you know exactly what is wrong so that actually saves a lot of time in terms of actually trying to troubleshoot and going around to actually in, in investigate by sort of looking through log files so if we can consolidate every single thing into one area being SCOM and being that management pack then that should hopefully save a lot of time on any BAU situations going forward uh, so yeah that's uh, pretty much the uh, the presentation um, thank you very much uh, for viewing um, I would have liked to have actually uh, done a little bit of the demos like I've done before, but um, but because I have it so many times in, in previous other versions, I thought it would be more um, easier, more to the point, having the screenshots in there as well. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and um, look forward to us um, having more information soon on the release of the management pack. And uh, hope you enjoy the rest of SCOMAFON 2023.